our very first bamboo printer out of the four is having some issues. For some reason, AMS slot one will actually not feed all the way down into the tool head. So it'll go all the way, but it won't do that final click in. So something's definitely going on. Um, this printer currently has 2,325 hours on it, and this will be its third nozzle change. So this is the first one. All the other filaments work fine. It's just AMS slot one for some reason doesn't want to click in all the way. So we're gonna try a, a nozzle replacement. We get the full hot ends. So we're gonna try one of them. Um, I believe this is a hardened steel nozzle, which it already has, so we don't have to change anything. So we're gonna give that a try, see what that does, and let's go ahead and get in this nozzle change. First thing we're gonna wanna do is obviously turn off the printer back here. So we'll turn off the printer. We're gonna to wanna to take the AMS, and kinda set it off to the side. And it is dirty up here. So we will take this off. And we will set this on the side because we have external lights to make it a little bit brighter in there. We'll take this, take this top off. It just comes right off. Plug the top fan and that assembly will come right out. PF2 doesn't look too bad. Let's go ahead and take the nozzle out. So you wanna make sure you get your Allen wrench that it should come with it. So we'll go ahead, unscrew that. And then we will go ahead and unplug the, the rest of the hot end here. And we'll take these screws all the way out. Now you should be able to just pull down and the nozzle should come right out. Now it looks like we're having some clogs. You take a look here. The red black silk that was in AMS4 is still in here. So um, it's, it's a gross nozzle, but that was still in here. Um, it was trying to do the AMS1, which it wasn't pushing in. Um, a lot of times it'll do it about five or six times before it'll turn the heat up to about 240 degrees Celsius. It'll melt all this and push it through, but that is a waste of time. We don't want it to do that. So let's start by changing this nozzle out and see what it does. So while we're in here, we also wanna go ahead and take a look at the PTF tubing. So there are two smaller screws that are in here that holds the PTF tubing in. So we will carefully take these out, and push that up. And then one, once that guard is out, you can, you'll see this black plastic piece. So what you'll do is take two fingers on each side, push down and pull out. So the PTF tubing is not bad at all. It's a little warped up here at the top, actually. Looks like it's cut. So I have a brand new piece of PTF tubing that actually came with the printer. Um, we're gonna swap this. We're gonna swap this one out. On the other side of this tube, there is this. So this is what ho is holding this PTF tube in. Use your two fingers, push the blue tab in, and then pull. We will push it back through that same hole we pulled it out of, and then push the PTF tubing back in. So everything looks clear in here. We're gonna route the PTF tube guard back on just like that. And you're more than welcome to cut this down. I don't think I will. Press down on the black clip here and then put your PTF tube back in as far as it'll go, which I don't think is very far at all, actually. So once that is in, we'll go ahead and move the guard back down. We will take our little Allen wrench, put one of the screws on, and then we will we will screw it back on. You can buy the uh, the normal nozzles um, without the complete hot ends. Um, they're fine. The only thing that you have to worry about is putting the right amount of thermal paste um, and putting that thermostat back in, which isn't an issue, but buying the complete hot end with the fan and everything just already on here makes it so much easier. So that should go straight up in there. And then now we can start connecting everything. So the big one, the bottom one, is the thermostat that'll go into the very bottom here. That'll plug right in. And then the other one with the non-insulated wires, they will go here to the second one right above it. Plug that in. 
And now we will take our screws and we will thread them back in just as we took it out. If you're not fitting in all the way, you can give it a little wiggle. Should get it in there, seat it correctly. Then now we can get these screwed in. Awesome. So that is in. So now we want to go ahead, put the fan back on, which the fan goes to this top plug in here. You'll just plug it right in. Plug that right in, and then you'll just slip it right back on there. Let's go ahead, put this all back together. Our printers are based here down in our basements. It gets pretty dirty down here. So we will throw this back on. All right, so that's that. Close this, we can throw AMS back on and we can turn it on. So now that we have the new nozzle on, we wanna go ahead and come into the printer. We wanna come down to the little circle here and we want to do calibration. So it'll take about 26 minutes, so let's do the calibration. We will come back and we will try a test print. Calibration is finished. Uh, like I said, I recommend doing that pretty much every time you change something, so change the nozzle or something, I would do a calibration. So let's go ahead and do a test print. Um, I don't actually use the SD cards in here, so I just leave them in here. So we'll pull something from there, probably a Benchy. Should pull from the first slot, it should. So let's go ahead and see what that does. Awesome. And first try, after the nozzle replacement and replacing that PTF tube, it looks like it grabbed it on the first go around. So we're going to let it print the Benchy. Um, that is going to take about 22 minutes. We'll let it print the Benchy. We'll see how it comes out. We'll try a regular print with that one as that the, as the main color and see if it grabs it the first couple times. And we will uh, we'll check in from there. After the nozzle replacement, look at that actually really good quality awesome let's go ahead and start our other print and see if it pulls that AMS slot once if it pulls it first try Since that nozzle change is done, we've confirmed, we've done with the test print, we've confirmed it will click in uh, multiple times. So that is great. Um, we're gonna go ahead, we have some orders to fulfill. So we're gonna throw, go ahead and throw some dragons and stuff on this um, and kind of do a, a longer test print. I believe it takes about nine hours to print, multiple color changes so that AMS one will be going in and out a lot. So we're gonna go ahead, throw that on, test it, see how it turns out. I went ahead and pulled this off the printer, but the quality is amazing. The new nozzle did really good. Um, no little spots or anything like that. Um, AMS one, no problems at all. Um, before I had to be home to make sure I was able to watch it. So it would happen through, through a nine hour print pretty much every hour, um, which sucked. So definitely slowing down processing time and everything like that. So I would say the nozzle change definitely helped out um, having issues with AMS. 
Um, a lot of times the PTF tubing, that's just general maintenance you want to take a look at. Um, I noticed that it was kind of cut at the top, so I wanted to go ahead and change that already, just in case that were to be an issue for some, some odd reason. Um, it probably wasn't, but just to change it, it was um, good to get a new PTF tube in there. If you guys enjoyed today's video and thought it was helpful, go ahead and leave a like, a comment, subscribe. Um, let me know down below if you want to see anything specific or want to know anything about the industry. Um, soon to be up Discord coming soon. So hopefully we'll have a lot of new shop ideas um, and definitely a place for uh, people that are having issues. They can come in and uh, get some support from the community. Thanks for watching guys and welcome to the Glitch community and I will see you guys in the next one.